taxes. Thousands of Oklahoma families could face a devastating blow when it comes to their health care. The state budget crisis forces the Oklahoma State Department of Health to slash $4.2 million by June. Two Works For You reporter Corey Duke spoke to area families who say these budget cuts could potentially put their health on the line. They got the eyes, they got the pharmacy, they got the, the wig, pediatric, they got behavior, you know, lab. So that, that's a lot to be taken away. Cosetta Tyson and her family have been coming to the Morton Clinic for years. It's a one-stop shop to get primary care. Tyson says the idea of being turned away from their services is terrifying. Now, this could become a reality for many Oklahomans. Our fund, which covers folks who have no insurance, helps people access care who have absolutely no means. Um, it helps cover their care, uh, and now that fund has been eliminated. Laura Dempsey Poland is talking about the state health department's uncompensated care fund. Federally qualified health centers in Oklahoma, like Morton, are nonprofit. They help every person who walks through their doors, insured or not. With the new budget cuts, Morton would have to make some major changes, which could affect then how long we stay open, how many days we're open, how many people we actually can see. The clinic says 50% of their patients are uninsured. They fear the budget cuts will hinder their access to health care. So it would affect her tremendously, especially because so of her kids that come here and they need uh, medical attention. So it would affect her and her kids tremendously. Federally qualified health care centers like Morton serve as critical safety nets for 600,000 Oklahomans who are uninsured. 